In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set the paper size for a layout in AutoCAD. This is an essential step in ensuring that your design looks just right when it's printed. And I'm here to walk you through each step of the process. So let's dive in and make sure your layout is perfectly tailored to your needs. First, you're going to want to navigate to the layout tab that you want to modify. This is your starting point for adjusting the paper size. Think of each layout tab as a separate work surface where your design will eventually come to life on paper. It's important to be on the right tab so that all the tweaks you make apply specifically to that layout. Next, direct your attention to the Output tab. And from there, head over to the Plot panel. This is where the Page Setup Manager resides. Give it a click and you've officially begun the setup process. The Page Setup Manager is somewhat like the control center for your plot settings. It's where you can see all the presets you've created and modify them to your heart's content. Once you're in the Page Setup Manager, you'll notice the Page Setups area. Here, you'll find a list of different setups you may have prepared for various types of projects. Select the page setup that you intend to modify. Perhaps you've got a specific client in mind or a particular type of paper you need to use. This is where you tailor this setup to fit those exact specifications. Now, you'll want to click on Modify. This opens up the Page Setup dialog box where you can actually change your paper size. In this dialog, under the Paper Size section, there should be a list of paper size options available to you. You'll want to select the size that best fits your needs, whether that's A4, A3, or perhaps a more custom dimension. Make sure it aligns with your project requirements. Once you're satisfied with your selection, go ahead and click OK. You're almost done. You'll find yourself back in the Page Setup Manager. Before wrapping up, take a moment to ensure everything looks good. If it does, all that's left is to click Close. And with that, your new paper size is set. And there you have it. You've successfully set the paper size for your selected layout in AutoCAD. Doing this ensures that the final output matches what you intend your client or team to see. By following these steps, you have greater control over your output making sure that every detail is exactly where you want it. Thanks for watching and happy designing.